This one's for my fellow wrestling fans. Today we're diving into WWE 2K20. Let's talk about it. Are forms going to be Pokemon's newest recurring gimmick? Spider-Man is now officially out of the MCU. Should Crash Bash get a remaster? Do you remember Splashdown Rides Gone Wild? So what do gamers really want from the next console generation? Invader Zim enter the Florpus. When in the world is GTA 6 going to drop? Let's talk about it! What's going on guys, Jeremy Bandigood here, back with another video, and today we're taking a look at a video game that's not really centered around video gamers, it's centered around wrestling fans, which I myself am one of. So, wrestling games have been around longer than sliced bread at this point, and wrestling fans have always gone crazy over the next new release of their favorite game. For years, the mainstay has been WWE 2K after the demise of THQ and the rebranding from the SmackDown vs. Raw series. So for years, I've been playing WWE games, I've owned every single one, save for maybe like, I don't think I own WWE 14, I, I, I don't think I own that one, but every other one I've owned on every console. Uh, I could get my hands on them, and I, I've loved them since when I was a kid. I've always loved WWE games, but 2K20 is probably the first game that I'm not going to pick up day one, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm very scared for 2K20. I'm very on the fence, because it feels like 2K is becoming very lazy with this property. Not just from a standpoint of not being innovative or not making changes, because they did do quite a bit to WWE 2K19 to make it stand out, but I fear they're falling into this kind of pattern that they've created for themselves. So it seems like every year lately they'll focus on one aspect of the game, and while that's better than none, it leaves the other aspects of the game feeling left out, and this focus on one particular gimmick can be very dangerous. This has also led to year-long repetitions of much-needed improvements and aspects of the game, uh, such as the balancing issues and the glitches, and the notorious glitches, oh my goodness. Uh, but, it, I mean, even the graphical department, the graphics haven't seen a major upgrade, I'd, see, I'd say since WWE 2K16, and that's a very prevalent issue. This year, I just don't see what their focus is. I mean, with WWE 2K19, they received a lot of praise for the extras in the game for like the zombified Triple H or the blockhead mode or the cell shading mode. They, they gave they got a lot of praise from that, but it seems like if they're focusing on anything this year, it's the focus on that. They're, they're focusing on spooky aspects and horror aspects and additional content for the game centered around that fact, but that's not quite what the wrestling fans of these games want. They don't want this arcade style wrestling game. Video game fans do, and it'll no doubt cater to those sorts of fans, but I fear that the dedicated fan base behind these games that love wrestling and want to play a wrestling video game isn't going to love these changes, and I can't blame it all on 2K. The WWE games have two very different fan bases. You have the ones that I've mentioned before, which are the wrestling fans who play wrestling games for wrestling, and you have the video game fans who played SmackDown or WWE Day of Reckoning or Here Comes the Pain or the great WWE games back in the day who could go into the boiler room, jump off 30-foot things that people couldn't cohesively jump off of and survive, and it just had those arcade style feeling to them and that's what the real video game fans want and it feels like 2k is trying to bridge these two together in the worst possible way for the last I'd say seven or eight years maybe even nine they've taken more of an approach to realism and over the years the WWE games have turned more toward realism in their games departing from the arcade style of their roots at this point Whatever they do, it's going to be hard to bridge that gap between the two. But it looks like they're trying to cater more toward the arcade fans rather than the wrestling fans themselves. 
I'll give you an example. The wrestling fans themselves, I've noticed, since WWE 2K19 has come out, have cited them the exclusion of GM mode and the lack of focus on universe mode as two of their biggest issues with the game, and I completely agree. GM mode was stripped from us in SmackDown vs. Raw 2009, I think it made its last appearance, or 2010, I think it was 2009, but that was a mode that I always loved. I always loved booking the matches, actually having a feedback and actually having the game change direction based on who I signed or who I wanted to be a top star or who I had as a champion and I was always battling against the other GMs to make the best show possible. On the other end of the coin you have universe mode which a lot of people have dictated as the replacement for GM mode, I'm sorry I almost said universe mode twice, where you can literally build your own storylines and build your own universe. The problem is, Universe Mode doesn't have nearly as many features as it could, or as much as it needs to make this kind of changing the universe into your own thing as cohesive as it needs to be to make it an immersive and fun experience. The fact that 2K19 doesn't seem to be focusing on Universe Mode at all does concern me greatly, because it just seems like they're trying to add new things while keeping the broken things broken. Coupled with the lack of marketing for this game and the lack of actual news coming out for it, I know it's still September, but the game is coming out next month. We've, in the past, we've received news about 2K18, 2K19, right around SummerSlam, which happens in the middle of August, and just from the amount of news that we've gotten from this game, it doesn't seem like they really have much news to share or anything for us to get excited about. It's a bunch of gimmicks. It's a, bu it's a bunch of different gimmicks with them trying to hop on the popularity of what's going on in the mainstream wrestling world for the wrestling fans. For example, two of the DLC perks for this year are SmackDown's 20th anniversary, which comes with a collector's item. You get either Edge, Kurt Angle, uh, there is someone else in that mix too, I think it was Rey Mysterio. Uh, you get a signed piece of memorabilia from them, as well as a piece of the ring from uh, SmackDown whatever. I'm not sure, you know, what piece of that ring that is, but you get a piece of some kind of ring canvas. The other one is The Fiend, which is uh, Bray Wyatt's current gimmick, which pisses me off as well, because it's this is Bray Wyatt's current character, and The Fiend is going to be a DLC exclusive piece of content? Are you kidding me? Are we, are we going to get stuck with, uh, you know, 2018 Bray Wyatt if we don't want to pre-order the game, or will it be available down the line for more purchase? Are, are you kidding me? 2K19 and 2K18 also relied heavily on microtransactions, which is something that is going to be here to stay with a company like 2K. I mean, they run Rockstar Games, who have been flourishing on microtransactions, so there's no way that that's going to be excluded from the game anytime soon. I'm just worried about the amount it's going to be in. Are we going to see an increase in microtransactions, which is going to ruin the game? You know, it's, it's just a lot of concerns for me. So am I worried about 2K20? Absolutely. Am I going to buy it day one like I have for literally every other WWE game that I've had money to buy at day one? I don't think so. I think I'm going to wait this one out and see how it performs because I just don't get the rush that I used to out of 2K games. I mean, if this game proves to be really good and I'm wrong, I'll gladly pick it up because I'm a wrestling fan and I want to play wrestling games that make me feel like I'm wrestling. The My Career mode in 2K20 is really the only shining light of hope for me, because the My Career mode in 2K19 was stellar. It was leaps and bounds from 2K17, 2K18, their career modes, they changed it up so much, to the career modes that we loved in SmackDown vs. Raw, going through a year of just being held down, held down, held down, and proving someone wrong, and going through a year in a WWE Superstar's shoes. That's what I love, back when it was called Season Mode. Now it's called My Career, and up to this point, it's been incredibly lackluster. And 2K20's My Career Mode looks to be a jumping point from 2K19, which is a very good thing. I'm very excited to see where that My Career Mode goes, but as for every other aspect of the game, the only other new match type that we've received is the Mitch... Mitch... Mixed Match Challenge. And that, to me, spells... Oh my god, it's... Just bring back the game modes that we love. The Buried Alive match, the Inferno match, the Three Stages of Hell match, the Gauntlet match. All of those matches need to be in the game because it's a wrestling game. Huh. 
I, I, I'm just, I'm so worried. But what do you guys think? Are you going to pick up WWE 2K20 the first day? Or are you going to be like me and wait it out and see if it's actually worth it? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. It really means the world to me. If you wouldn't mind and you like what you saw here, go down below, hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and that like button to stay updated with the rest of my videos. Thanks, guys, and as always, I'll see you all next time.